911 emergency. Okay, what's the address of the emergency? Okay, tell me exactly what's going on. Okay, we are getting the fire department on the way. Stay on the phone with me for just a moment, okay? smoke and flames showing. Everybody is out of the building at this time. No other structures are threatened. So fire department response really has two components to it. First, there's the things that we can control. When the bells go off, in 60 seconds, we expect to be out the door in a safe manner, putting our turnouts on, mapping ourselves to the call, we can control all of that. But when we leave the station, there's some things we can't control. Weather, road conditions, traffic, road closures, all of those factors that really play into a response and how quickly we can get there. We want to get there safely, effectively, and timely, but sometimes those challenges really do get in our way. Even just a year ago, it was hard for us to track what our response times were. Now we have good data and we know the things that impact our responses. This information is crucial as we plan for the future so we know where to locate resources like fire stations and fire engines so we can maintain that level of service that the community expects. So now you've seen some of our challenges and some of the data processes that we've done so far to identify our challenges and find solutions too. Our next step is getting you the community involved. We're going to get together stakeholders, community members, business owners, elected officials, to determine what the future response time expectation is so we can continue to meet Meridian's needs.